Hi guys, so Lord Moylan, Brexit and Boris Johnson's sycophant appeared on Sky News to engage in some, how can I say, mental gymnastics to defend his friend. Now Moylan isn't the sharpest tool in the box, so due to perhaps his privilege of being a member of the House of Lords, aka safer than a safe seat, he can say pretty much anything and there are zero consequences. Here he is making an extremely lame attempt at defending the indefensible. Have a listen. Are you confident that he did not knowingly mislead Parliament? Yes, I'm absolutely confident. I worked for Boris for eight years when he was at City Hall and he never once went out and in the course of his public duties said something he knew to be untrue. Really? You worked with him for eight years and he never did it really in eight years? OK, Boris Johnson's broken promises as London Mayor from Channel 4 and of course he's not a big fan of Channel 4. It says here, rough sleeping. In 2009, Boris, uh, Mr. Johnson promised to end rough sleeping within three years. Over his tenure, rough sleeping rose by 130%. Okay, police, number is, police numbers. Mr. Johnson made a number of opaque and downright misleading claims about the strength of the Metropolitan Police while he was mayor of London. At one point he announced, we are recruiting 5,000 constables over the next three years. He failed to mention that the Met expected to lose 5,000 PCs over three years through natural wastage. All he was promising to do was replace the ones who left. So Boris Johnson sells it as, yeah, I'm hiring 5,000 new constables, You're, so we're going to have 5,000 more constables. Well, no, not really. We're just replacing the ones that left. But he wasn't honest with people about that. Uh, special constables as well. Affordable homes. Mr. Johnson set himself a target with, this is amazing, set himself a target of building 100,000 new affordable homes in London between 2008, 2009 and 2015, 2016. Do you know how many were built? 500. Not 100,000. So either Boris Johnson didn't know what the heck he was doing or he was lying. Then there's the water cannon and then the third uh, runway at Heathrow. But let's continue with Boris Johnson's honesty. Oh, yes, and I have to, of course, raise the issue, not when he was mayor of London, but when he was prime minister, he said that there would be no border in the Irish Sea. I <clears throat> knew that there was going to be a border in the Irish Sea. So if I knew it, and I'm not an expert on Northern Ireland or Brexit, but if I knew there was going to be a border in the Irish Sea, Boris Johnson knew there was going to be a border in the Irish Sea, so why did he go to Northern Ireland and tell business leaders and politicians there there would be no border in the Irish Sea? Um, obviously, you know, you rely on advice. But, you say what you think is true at the time. Uh, but Lord Moylan, he but, said that there were no parties. He said that the rules were followed at all was, times, and, I, and he's yeah. now paid a fine um, for being at a party. Well, we don't. You 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 conflate a lot of things there. Um, we don't know what the fine was for. The fine was for. The fine was for breaking COVID rules. The fine was not for not having a light on his bicycle. Breach of a certain regulation. No regulation. <laughs> How deep do you have to be inside Boris Johnson's backside to come up with something like that? He received a fine because he broke COVID rules. Well, he received a fine, yes, but we don't know if what it was for. Maybe it was for, um, you know, uh, not wearing a helmet on his bicycle, or maybe he received a fine for, uh, you know, over overloading his bin when he was leaving it out to be collected. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. And, you know, let's not talk about fines. Let's talk about something else. Should actually mention parties. So the word party wouldn't have appeared on a fine at all. And, and, and we don't know what, in fact, he was fined under. I don't know which regulation he was fined under. If this is irrelevant. He broke the law. He broke the law, the laws that he wrote. And, and He's trying to distract by saying, yes, it's nothing. We don't know what rules he broke. <sighs> really, th this is how you have, this is, ha this is your defense of Johnson. This is how you're defending him. This is how you're trying to get him out of this mess. 
Once again, remember, this guy is a member of the House of Lords. So he's losing nothing here. He won't be forced to resign over this. He's not going to lose his seat. Because those were very complicated and complex laws. Um, so that was never even mentioned. And I genuinely don't think he attended parties. I think he believed at the time that he was going uh, into rooms where, where, where there were work meetings. How do you know that? Were you there? Were you there as well with Boris Johnson and realised, wait a minute, this is, this is a party. I didn't know. How can you... How can you stay, say on his behalf that it wasn't a party or he didn't know it was a party? Like if everyone else thought it was a party, the, the other people aren't, nobody's contesting. Notice that Boris Johnson has not contested the fine. He's not said, no, no, this fine is not valid because it was, um, it was a work event or I didn't know it was, a, isn't that interesting? It's something that really people haven't talked about. If Boris Johnson thought the fine was wrong, then he could have contested it, but he didn't. Things that he had uh, with people he was working with. But that's for him to explain, and he has explained that, and he has apologised repeatedly. And there we have it. Boris Johnson apologised, let's move on. Boris Johnson didn't know he was at a party, let's move on. Boris Johnson received a fine for something, let's move on. I don't know what else to say about these individuals. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.